Hey everyone, I've got something really exciting here for you today. Welcome to my preview of the Case Labs Magnum TH10. Now those of you who watch my Singularity Beast upgrade video series have probably already guessed that this is the case that I'll be using for the new primary build that I'm doing for myself. The new big build that I have coming up. Now first of all, before I give you a look at the case, I just need to give a massive shout out to Case Labs, who has actually sponsored the build and sent me this case. Make sure you check out the link in the video description to their website. This case has been built with high-end hardware and water cooling in mind. And, you know, completely thought out surrounding that. It is modular, so therefore it's upgradable. So it's a case that you can keep for a long time and keep upgrading over the years. It fits, you know, an incredible amount of hardware and radiators. It's an easy case to build into because of the way this, the side panels are designed, because of how big it is, it has a removable motherboard tray, Anyway, this is just a preview, it's not the review, so I better bring you in for a look at the case. There's so much for me to talk about, about this case. Now, this is actually the biggest case from Case Labs, it's the Magnum TH10. So it's the top of the range case from them. And all their cases are quite similar at this point in time, they have a similar design. They're double wide, so... I'll just look from the front, they have one compartment for the computer itself and one compartment for the hard drives, power supplies and water cooling components. So basically they're split in half. So the side panel window is not actually blue, that's just the covering which I still need to remove. I'll just go around the outside of the case first. Looking from the back you can see the removable motherboard tray and that is an amazing feature to have in a high end build. I mean, look at that, just four thumb screws and that whole motherboard tray slides out. If you design a water cooling system properly and put the quick disconnects in the right places, you could just design it so all you have to do is remove those thumb screws, twist two quick disconnects and bang, the whole computer comes out for you to work on. Now, that is amazing. That is something that, you know, that's a feature that I'm really looking forward to having because I'm so sick of sticking my hands into cases and trying to work on complex cramp water cooling systems when you've got a dead graphics card or something you've got to pull the whole thing to bits just to get to it that is really going to make things easy for me two power supplies as you can see just there so I'm just going to open up the side panel now this is another you know what I mean about this case being really well thought out that removable motherboard tray and look at this side panel design I mean People just keep making these cases and they just don't think about what people actually need. They, Yeah, I don't know what they're thinking, but seriously, this has been designed by someone who understands water cooling and high-end hardware. They know how to do things properly. This case has been designed by an enthusiast and the quality is amazing. You know, the paint job is just perfect. Everything about it is perfect. Full aluminium construction. You can get them in black or white. Completely black or white. There's an incredible amount of accessories that you can get for these cases because they have a modular design as I've mentioned. There's all different accessories you can get for the front here. The accessory that I have in the front here is to mount another 360 millimeter radiator so triple radiator in the front there not only that by stock standard you can get a quad radiator in the bottom the top and that's on either side so four quad radiators in this case stock standard beyond that you can actually get these these accessories these bars that go right across they mount on here to here and you can mount two more radiators like on the side here and another one down there on both sides and then you can get ventilated side panels this has three different side panels you can get solid windowed or ventilated and the ventilated areas are in the perfect position you know you just line the radiators up on the sides and you can have even more radiators it is amazing 
So this motherboard tray, it fits HPTX, so it fits the EVGA, EVGA SR2, 10 expansion slots, you've even got water cooling cutouts up there to run tubing out of the case. Really unnecessary in a case like this, but I mean they have just thought of everything. What I'm planning is something even more epic than the Singularity Beast, those of you who have seen that. Yeah, I'm planning one hell of a water cooling system. So, I'd love to talk about it more, but it'll just have to wait until the review, which is coming up soon. You can see the ventilated area here. This is the part of the accessory for the 360mm rad that I've got in the front there, but you can have that all, all solid. It actually comes with the top four 5.25 inch bays, single bay covers like that, but then you have these big, like, a triple bay sized solid covers and three of them you can mount hard drives there you can mount like you can get uh, quad hard drive bays for anyway I'll go over all the accessories in the review but look at those nice vandal switches for the power and reset buttons I'll just give you a bit more of a look at the top the top panel and the front panel are actually completely removable and you can get different top panels for the case this is the smallest one you can also get a 65 millimeter high one and an 85 millimeter high one so what this means is that you can fit like the radiators and the fans in the roof of the case because 85 mil brings it up to about here so that that allows for the radiators and the fans and then you can do a big push pull configuration but seriously, there's enough room in the case. I mean, I think there's about 100 and I'm not sure. I think it's 150 mil, like above the top of the motherboard to allow for a push-pull configuration and the thickest radiator out there. But, you know, even still, you can, you can put it in the roof if you want to. Just another, another part of the list, long list of accessories and, you know, the modular design of this case. So yeah, you can select all this when you're ordering the case. It's... Make sure you go check out the website so you can, you can have a look at that. Okay, now looking in the back of the case. So you can see power supplies mount up here on an angle. You can fit quad radiators in the bottom and again in the top. And obviously you just remove those cover plates if you want to install the radiator. You can also get a separate floor. It's a it's a separate accessory that you can buy, but it just it brings the basically they're these plates, and I think they leave about a five mil gap in the bottom, and they just make it so that components aren't sitting directly on the floor of the case. It just strengthens things a bit in case you want to install real heavy components on the bottom of the case. I actually have got those accessories so you'll be able to see them in the review just so that I can mount my pumps on them because I'm using dual pumps. Again, you can get the accessories to mount the radiators on the side like across here and I got the solid side panel for the back side but you can get the windowed or the ventilated. You can also use these the bars that go across here for mounting anything like reservoirs, absolutely any component you can think of depending on the design you have in mind. You can actually fit up to 32 hard drives in this case using the different hard drive bays. I think you get one bay by default but I ordered a second one so each bay fits four hard drives. You can get accessories to fit 2.5 inch drives inside. Have a look at all those cutouts for ventilation. You know there is absolutely nothing that hasn't been thought of in the design of this case. So these fit 120 millimeter fans in the front of them to you know ventilate the hard drives to keep the hard drives nice and cool. Okay the roof of the case has been removed and you can see where the quad radiators mount now and I mean I've mentioned the quality of this case everywhere you look the paint job is just perfect I mean some cases the paint job varies like in the corners and the hard to get spots but you might be able to see a little bit of undercoat or rough patches but this is just all over 
you know, just perfect. So you can see the front panel has it's been removed there. So that allows you to get to all the screws for mounting accessories and you know hard drive bays and 5.25 inch bay covers and everything. That you know, I really love the design of this case and. You know, the, the aesthetics, in my opinion, are perfect, they're elegant, they're practical. I'm really looking forward to getting started on the build, I'm so excited about it. This is a case, you know, that you can keep for years and years. Mainly, you know, because of the quality, it'll last you a long time, and also because you can continue to buy accessories for it. And there's pretty much not a build in the world that won't fit into this case. Okay, so that sums up my preview of the Case Labs Magnum TH10. My review and the build log will be coming up within the next couple of weeks. I tell you what, this case is a water coolers and high-end hardware enthusiasts dream. This is my this is my dream case. I'm happy to say that Again, massive shout out to Case Labs for sponsoring the build. And yeah, make sure you go check out their website for a bunch of incredible cases. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and favorite if you want to see more. Thanks, everyone.